Come on and braid my hair. All right. Back in baby. my hood. You sound like. Feeling good. Baby. No worries. Baby. On. Stop smiling at no me. Baby. Use. Baby. What? I like that use. That was nice. <laughs> That was a nice. That was a nice. I was trying to clown you, but I'm all right. It, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't terrible. I know it wasn't terrible, man. I mean, you know, I like that song. You know the funny part? I love and that song. He sang the shit out of that song about just braiding hair. That was crazy. I used to hate that song though, because it sounded dumb. Yeah, but it did. When you go back and listen to what that 15 year old Mario did to that song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, he sang the shit out of that song. It was so crazy because I honestly, I always got to braid my hair. And then after that, I would cut it off because it was. It yeah. was, And then when I heard how the chord. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. When yeah. I heard that, I was like, oh, he's singing on this. It wasn't even that. It was just the it was uh, uh, it was the 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 bridge. The Was that a bridge or a vamp? I think that was a bridge. Yeah. Um, Sit me down like yeah, that's all. Yeah. Front to back, yeah. side to <laughs> side, crisscross. Oh, wait, wait, Get no, no, that's not how it, he did it a little bit. Did, did, he did a little different. No, he didn't. It was a little bit. It was a little bit different than that. Whatever, man. It was. It was like a little. I don't know what it was. It was crazy. It was. It Shout was out nice. to Mario. It was we just nice, don't man. respect him enough. We don't. We, we don't, don't give Mario the love he deserves. We do not man. respect that. Who were we talking about the other day? Oh, never mind. We'll get to that. Never mind. That we said we don't respect enough, but we'll get to it. It's fine. Okay. Um. But yeah, we don't. Mario been trying to tell us, and I think people have been laughing at him. Like, yeah, whatever, nigga. But like, what? Like, Mario is. One of the best vocalists ever. He is. He is. And I don't want and nobody know, to skip past that. I know people want to look like, wait a minute, they Mario? They going to skip past that, yeah. but that nigga Mario been no, singing like that doing since a, a, a wee man. A, a, a wee man? A wee baby. <laughs> a wee baby. You know what album I checked out, though? What? Speaking of R&B. Uh-uh. No. I don't want to talk about this. You don't even know no, what I'm going to say. No, and I know what you're going to say. No, you and don't. And I don't want to talk about I it. I promise you don't know what I'm going to say. I don't want to talk about it. You think I'm going to say SZA? Yeah, because Which, you just listened to that album. Just listened to that album yesterday. <laughs> and I don't want to talk about the it. The SOS album. Just listen to that joint. It's hard. <laughs> this thing is, If you haven't heard the what? album. <laughs> <laughs> it's always this. Three years later, this man, you know what I just listened to? That, <laughs> that Monica Boy is Mine album? Man, nah, she got this song called Gone Girl up there. What? Baby, people know. No, y'all know about that one? <laughs> She just brought Grammy. Oh, my bad. My bad. Nah, but that won't even the album I was going to tell you, though. Man, you know that Aphrodisiac album Brandy put out? <laughs> that shit is crazy. Nah, I was going to say the Bryson Tiller album. Oh, you listened to an album that just came out? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. It's hard, Listen, yo. that, that, I told you, Persuasion is, I saw this, um... This TikTok mm -hmm. of uh, Victoria Monet's partner because I don't think they're married and they they um but I think that's their boyfriend girlfriend but it sounds weird when right. you say older people I mean not older but you know yeah after you get over a certain age it sounds weird but he's he's doing a video of the goodbye song from the Jaguar too okay and I love that song I don't know if I really paid attention to it as much as I did in that TikTok because. Somebody said something about her pin game, and he's listening to the song, and every time she hits, like, a crazy metaphor, he's mm -hmm. just, like, no, Victoria doing, Monet. like, writing in the sky, like, yo, like, he was, like, her pin is, like, unmet. like, just, yeah. it was so cute to watch, but I was even listening to that song, like, why is it, why? Yeah, no, why? That, that Persuasion song on Bryson Tiller album, I think it's track number four, Psh, crazy. The reason why crazy. I love it so much, though, is because you could play it on regular radio. You can. And they know what you're talking about. It's only one part that I didn't like. What? Um... What? Uh, the part when she was not saying ass. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I hated that. I was like, nah, you could have came with something Whatever. better than that. I don't care. Could have came with something better than that. But other than that, whole song, fire. Nah. It's, fire. A, good, it's a good album. Yeah, I um, mean. Yeah, man. I, I, I've been listening to music, yo. That's crazy. I've been listening to music, man. From this year, too. Yeah. I'm you, so proud of you. I'm Listen, I, I feel good. I feel good about myself. You know that Into the Dragon album, though. That thing is... Listen, you, you ain't going to hate on a classic. <laughs> Front to back, side to side. Okay? That's... That's the joint right there. Man, when I hit that Cooley High Harmony, though, that shit was... Fuck you. 
<laughs> Even though we was listening to Boys and Men earlier. But fuck you. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to get you the whole episode. Nah, don't do that. Because do you're that. so late on everything. I'm not. I just, you, you know, I went into a dark period when it came to music. I know. I went I know. into a real dark period when it came to music. Like, I left music totally alone. Between that and uh, listening to podcasts so much. Yeah, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Like, it's, it's hard. it was hard because it's like the time that I used to spend listening to music, mm-hmm. I was spending listening to podcasts. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was it was it was a dark period, but I'm trying to get back into listening to music more because I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm mad that I'm just discovering the Scissor album, but well, if you listen to me when I say things, I think it wouldn't be such an issue because nah. I literally tell you so many things that you should listen to, like that Teddy Swim song. That song been out, and all Which of a sudden, the, I, the song, the um, uh, the the song, Lose Control. Lose Control. That song was out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You had just heard of him, and I, I had been, I had been sent him to you, and I was like, baby, you would like him, and. I send it to you and you don't listen. And then all of a sudden you discover it by yourself. And then you like, oh, I got to do a deep dive. Like you could have been had this fun. You could have had this joy in your life. If you but what listen. about if this was just the time for me to discover certain songs? No, it's anything. You just anything that I tell you to discover, you don't want to discover true. it. Also, I don't like being a, a a slave to the moment, man. Like it's not to the moment. Well, it's, people, I, I find I'm really good at finding. I'm not saying you're not, things but like people ahead of time. For instance, the Victoria Monet joint, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody was like, "Oh my God, you know that joint is hard. That joint is hard." And I wanted to have my own opinion about it and not have everybody in my ear saying it's good and I'm listening for it to be good but you and didn't, be disappointed. But you didn't or, even you know. care about it. That's what I'm saying. It didn't matter what anyone's opinion. You weren't even looking for it. You weren't yeah. even checking for nothing like that. Do they still say that? What, checking, checking, checking for, for I, it? I don't, I have no I'm going to use it because that's the only word I can fit to go there that makes the most <laughs> sense. But you weren't even like aware of it mm, i wasn't aware of and her. i don't listen to stuff just because every i don't i'm not like oh i gotta listen to it and love it because everybody else loves it if i don't really love it yeah but yeah your, your, your music choice be questionable sometimes no i also i i have like my adhd is so severe i get those um those fixations thing the thing where like if this is what i like i'm gonna i'm gonna beat it with a dead horse i'm no, gonna no. i'm gonna constantly only listen to that one thing no i get it i get it um but i've i've heard like you you know what you know what throws me off i heard a lot of your uh your 2000 song albums that you really liked and like you're like strong about some of those 2000s albums yeah and i was like nah son like i i thought she was different okay baby you you know you have some questionable. We've talked about three LW and I stand behind that because <laughs> players they gonna play if they oh don't do gosh. nothing else they gonna play. Okay, yeah, exactly. It's a couple of it's a couple of things that I'm like they just I ties to a core memory and I'm a, that Tierra Marie album I don't give a fuck what you say that album good as hell with um make a girl feel good on it it's a good she got this one song called phone booth what exactly. my mom just pissed me off. I can't take no more. Can you come and get me at the phone booth? And when the last time you seen a phone booth, huh? London, but that's beside. Oh, the you, <laughs> you traveling? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, Carmen San Diego, you keep fucking with me. But, but yeah, no. yeah, I it's it's a couple of things that I like. But the newer stuff, I, I don't send you stuff that I don't think you're gonna like. Okay. I listen to the, the stuff that I like by myself. Mm-hmm. But I don't send you stuff that I think you're going to be like, oh, this is trash. I send you stuff that I think you're going to like. So you do admit that you listen to stuff that is trash. To you. It's not trash for real. It's trash to you. Baby, you just caught on the scissor. That don't mean I thought she was trash. Your whole musical taste is centered around 93. <laughs> 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 some 2001. <laughs> So anything I send you with new <laughs> drums is going to be like, it's a whole new experience. I got to wait and that digest it. That is a lie. Okay. I would give it at least 2008. <sighs> yeah. Because um, you know I mean? that, that, that yeah. Trey song, yeah. second Kaden, album. Kaden was born in 2008. All right. <laughs> she is 16 so about years 16 old. 16 years <laughs> of music that I have to discover. Whatever. Fuck it. Anyway, I don't care. It, gives, don't me, care. it gives me some fun time. I don't care enough. <laughs> it's okay. Let's get it's into okay. the show, man.
It's J Rod. Kristen Seville. And then we, the podcast, the fast growing podcast in the Bronx. I think you made that up. I think you made that up. I think you made that up. I think you made the Bronx up. I made it up. I think you, yeah. I made it up. Never make it up. I think you made. No, the Bronx is just I'm starting to think you made up the entire Bronx. Is that a real place? I don't even know at this point. Listen, there are people in New York that want to know if the Bronx is a real place. No. I get it. I, I completely get it. I completely get it. Uh, okay, shout out to them. Yeah, shout man. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash ATWHS today to get 10% off your first month. Uh, how was your week? I had a good week. Okay. I had a good week. I um, There's a smile with it and everything. I did because I went on a girls' night, and I mm. don't do shit. I don't go anywhere. I go, I work, I'm at home, I don't do nothing. So this was like the first time that I've, in a while, probably like some years, probably a couple years, that I've gone out with my friends and it wasn't... Like we planned it, and it was an event, and it wasn't a, a birthday mm -hmm. or some like something like that. A wedding. It was like a real girls. Night. It was a real girls night, and I know that sounds crazy, but I don't. I just I've been so busy, I've been so overwhelmed. We've been traveling. It's just been a lot going on, and a lot of my friends got their you know own lives as well. So we never really get to come together unless it's like it's somebody's birthday. We have to do this. So we went to see uh, Joe and Tamia. Okay. Um, How was it? So first we went to this place called Codex in Norfolk. Um, shout out to them because that food was so good. The mm. service was great. The fucking bread, the focaccia. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I ain't never been... I mean, I love bread. We have talked about it. I fuck with bread. But for that, I don't know what they did to it. But it, it, it had the consistency of almost a pound cake. Okay. Like, it was crazy it was so good shout out to them um and i also had short ribs and you know whatever um so we went there and then we went to the concert it was three of us and i knew that like sometimes and i've talked about it before where i don't really know what my age means i don't know it when people I don't, when people start calling me auntie and shit like that, like, I didn't even know I was there. You went I, to the auntie concert. I, so I didn't think that because in my mind, I was like, nah, man, I, I, I loved me. I remember when uh, You Put a Move on My Heart came out. I, I, that's, so that's my mind. I'm not thinking in years. I'm thinking like, no, nah, I'm a genuine fan. I fuck with Tamia. Like, I, oh, and then Joe, yeah, I fuck with Joe. Joe be doing whatever he be singing. To, so I'm just like, I'm going to see people that I enjoy. You know when it should have hit you? I know when it hit me. When? I know exactly when it hit me. When? When the DJ started playing just fine to warm the crowd and all them bitches got up like, yeah! Fine, 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 fine. They Woo! got up, uh, I mean, hopped up out of their seats. He said, where are my working women at? Where are my independent women at? Don't need no man out here hustling hard. And then they play just fine. I'm thinking they're going to play something like something else. Mm -hmm. And they play just fine. And they they were just fine. You should have realized it way before then, though. Well, I also realized it when I saw that almost everybody was dressed up. Like, it was a lot of... <laughs> and I go... I, I love concerts. Like, I haven't been to a concert in a while because... Mm -hmm. And I that was, like, my thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm dressed down. Like, I had on, like, a denim uh, jumpsuit, some sneakers. Like, I had a little cute little furry jacket thing, like, mm -hmm. whatever. I was dressed down. Mm -hmm. And they got on three-piece suits. Some of them got on sparkly gowns. We sitting down at the concert. There were a couple of people like us, but there were like, I'm talking about fedoras galore. <laughs> <laughs> fedoras galore. I fedoras mean, fedoras and white diamonds. And linens and just white, white diamonds. <laughs> I mean, just, just a, a, a plethora of just shit that I would think that my uncles and stuff would wear. Right. And, um, it was a lot of great beards, a lot of connects, you know, beard connect to the, it was a lot of that. It was just a lot of everything they, they met, they had a swag surfing. They had us, um, 
they had us doing all like the DJ that warms up the crowd and the comic. I cannot remember his name, but they had us doing all the shit that I'm like, oh, this is a cookout. <laughs> like, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I was I didn't know that when I was the demo. Did you have fun? I had a ball. Then you were definitely the demo. But I didn't hop up when those songs came on. One, because I was like, if I hop up and I have a good time. I'm going to know that I am I am officially like <laughs> at that age. I said, I, I'm going to have a good time in my seat and enjoy everybody else, but I'm not going to hop up and like do a line dance. I'm not doing that. Okay. Um, but Tamia opened the show. I First of all. You want to tell the truth? First of all, I fucking love Tamia. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to lie. The very first thought I had when Tamia stepped on that stage was like, man, she thick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I can't. I felt like if I thought that it was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But also, she the one that came out there with them thighs like that. <laughs> I mean, whatever you thought of the Stranger in My House video, if you've seen the video, her body was already ridiculous, right? It was ridiculous. It's them same legs, but they just thicker. Mm. And she had on like this, this bodysuit and like this blazer, but then legs out. And I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. That's the first thought I had. She looked amazing, mm -hmm. gorgeous. She had her background singers. She had, all, like her band was amazing. Her voice is just like, we don't talk about Tamia enough. Not her voice. We do not talk about Tamia's voice enough because goddamn. Yeah. My yeah. gosh, I and I'm a fan. Like I know albums, I know album cuts to me. Like I'm in it. Who's a better singer, Tamia or Don't you Deborah do it? Cox? Fuck, cause they just did the thing. They did the thing with the. You remember the thing that went viral and they were singing together. Fuck, Tamia. Really? You know Deborah Cox was supposed to be like the next Whitney Houston. Yeah, I was alive then too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can have this conversation. I was also there. I had the One Wish album. I was also there. But I think Tamia. Okay. She sang the shit out of them songs. And then she did this thing where I I want to say it was Stranger in My House into um, the Maxwell song. Fortunate? Um, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Like, she got on her knees and was, like, on her knees. She sounded incredible. She had, she did the little Tamiya dance that I still don't know all the steps to. It's too many fucking steps. I'm not oh, learning this many. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, learning yeah, this yeah, many yeah. dances. Um, I learned it one time and I forgot it. See, it's too many It's too But many I learned steps. it. I seen, it was a bunch of aunties on YouTube doing the dance in their backyard. Were you scared you was going to get invited to a cookout? And you was like, <laughs> I'm not going to know this one. Yo, honestly... <laughs> I wasn't scared, but it was like two or three weddings I was going to that year. Yeah. And I was like, yo. They're they going to break it out. They're going to break it out. And I got to know. I got to be the dude that know how to do it. And you always on the floor with the line dance. Yeah. So I would be mad if I'm up there for all of them and they play this one. I got to step yeah, out. Yeah, man. You know, I wanted to be prepared. <laughs> But it was a lot of moves. You're to a very it. fun wedding guest. I brought you. I brought you to a wedding before we was even really together. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so she did all of that. She's oh my god, fucking incredible. She opens the show. Joe is next. Let me tell y'all, I love Joe. I fucking love Joe. I love Joe. Mm -hmm. I was so excited. I've seen Joe sing live. Joe was amazing. Mm -hmm. Joe didn't have the same budget that Tamia had. Well, he and ain't married to Grant Hill. And, but that is also, that's fine. That's fine. My thing is, if I'm going to close the show, I'm going mm. to at least have background singers. I'm not going to have a track. Because how the fuck she get a track? How the fuck she get background singers? And I don't have no background singers. That's maybe, one. Maybe he felt like he was, he was good enough to not have background singers. I think he felt like... Um... Uh, his song, I think, I mean, I think they just felt his songs were bigger. Mm -hmm. But Tamia has, she she got, as far as everybody else, she got The Stranger in My House. She got the You Put a Move on My Heart. Like, she got, and she got um, uh, I'm, I'm So Into You. She got all mm -hmm. of those. She got songs. You yeah, know, she does. Um, But it was not. I would even venture out to say that her and Joe have about as many hits. And if we're doing that, and the closer is usually the person with a stronger presence, mm -hmm. it should have been Tamia. 
Mm. It should have been to me at the end. Now, I'm not... Don't get me wrong. Joe was great, but Joe didn't warm up to me until the end when he's saying, I want to know. Because then he got in his bag. He was killing shit. That's when he got everybody... Everybody was involved in it, but he was singing the shit out of it. But before that, I didn't really... Like, he played the intro to Power. He mm-hmm. played it, but he didn't sing it. And I thought he should have sang it. Like, it was at the beginning of his set, and then Stutter came on, and he came out. Okay. So, like, he wasn't even out. And oh. then it's not like he had background singers out there singing before him. Mm-hmm. The band was just playing, and then they played the power song, and then cut it off halfway through and pl- played Stutter, and then he came out. Damn. And to me, I would have done that song. If, if you going to play well, it. Well, he, he, he sings a chorus, though, on that. I know, but I would have, if you were going to play it, I would have been singing that and then let it into stutter. I would have been out there. I got you. Um, But whatever, it's not my show. I don't do shit. But, um, and then he did some acoustic songs, which I I know they were probably from like early Joe. Mm -hmm. um, Because I didn't know Joe played guitar. Maybe I did. Maybe I forgot. I don't know. I didn't know. Um, I'm not surprised, but I didn't know. Yeah. And I think that for the, like, his set list just didn't, didn't seem together for me. And I know y'all didn't tune in for like a Joe review because y'all didn't go. But it <laughs> didn't seem together. Like, I just felt like to me it should have closed because she was fucking perfect. She okay. was so good. But regardless, I had a good time. Mm-hmm. You know, I did a little, you know, I did some shimmies. I made some friends at the concert because I'm hilarious. And I was talking to everybody around me. And they, I, no, no, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't invite myself. They came into my conversation, into oh, okay. my world. Like I was making jokes out loud to my friends, and then they came into the jokes, and mm. I was like, I guess we all here together now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm about to say you don't, you don't like like talking to people. The dude said the comic on stage said something about lace fronts or something, and I made the comment. I was like, man, that would have been me tonight, but not tonight. I ain't got no lace front. Just something stupid. Mm-hmm. And there was a guy in front of me with his girl, and the guy turned around to look at me because he couldn't believe I said that. His girl was like, don't turn around. Look at her. That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's fine. It's okay. I said, my husband would have done the same thing because you got to establish that you have somebody with you because I'm talking to her man, and she don't know me, you know? <laughs> But regardless, I had a good time. That's was good. Fine. That's was good. Fine. Is that all? Oh, and the holes got closed up in our house. Yes. Yeah, man, that deserves. You better <laughs> fucking applaud. Nah, for real. Yeah. For uh, real. That is, that's my, I don't know. If you want to talk about the holes, you could take that on your week. I don't nah, know. Nah, listen, but. you know, it's so funny. Uh, the last week, uh, the whole week, we were dealing with spring break mm-hmm. with the kids here. Yeah. But they were fixing up holes. So we had to be creative with the kids and like actually play with them and and enjoy them. You got to shut the hell up. Don't nah, say I'm just that. saying. You, you know, know. I, I love my babies. Well, not nah, you. You know what it is. We also canceled all of their therapies, um, so they didn't have any type of therapy during the week, um, and it was just us and you know people closing up holes and you know kids running around like they were all like really enjoying themselves. While you were at the concert, actually. Uh, we sat down and watched one of the uh, NCAA games, women's games. I, yeah, I came in towards <laughs> the end. Yeah, and we uh, we really all enjoyed it. Like, everybody was just chilling. And it felt good to just be a family for a couple of minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, because we don't often get to all sit down and chill, you know, like that. So that was that was the, the biggest portion of my week, just enjoying my family, uh, you know, Hanging during out. spring break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I enjoy myself. Holes being closed and all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Holes being closed. Yeah, yeah. Now if they can, like, fix everything else, we'd be fine. Yeah, it'd be fine. Yeah. Let me close. But that, was, <laughs> that was pressure because we had, like, 11 holes that were open. Mm-hmm. And they, were, they weren't no little Throughout ass the holes. They were big ass holes. Yeah. And the last day before all the shit got closed up, a bug came out of one. Like the bug just came from, cause it's it's the inside of the house. So the bug came from out of that hole. I was like, you got to close all this shit up yeah. because what the fuck is this? Yeah. But yeah. um, and and it was just it just felt uneasy. It felt like it could have anything could have came out of the, the little holes. Yeah. People get possums and shit trapped in their attics. Like I ain't want it to find nah. Mm-mm. But 
It's okay now. We good now. Yeah, now everything's cool. Everything's good. Um, let's get into our favorite part of our well, our favorite segment. What's man. your favorite segment? It's not your favorite segment. Nah, fuck with it. Play, play my button. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bitches love lists. They do, and they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Bitches love lists. Bitches love lists. And this week. We're talking about the top six rap battles that should happen. Now, we all know that J. Cole and we know. Kendrick and we know. Drake, they're all doing whatever we, they doing. They even doing though things. J. Cole decided to come out the battle, which was It's fine. Weird. It's, it's but, his his body, his choice. Uh, <laughs> let him do what he wanna do. Whatevs, yeah you know I mean. But um I, it, it got me to thinking, yeah. who else should battle? You know what I mean? But I didn't want to just limit it to rappers. Yeah. Because we know rappers battle and that's what they do. Yeah. But I felt like there were other things. Yeah, it's way more important things out there. It's way more important um, discussions that need to be had. Hell yeah. So. Hell yeah. So this is the top six rap battles that should happen. You want to start with number six? or? Um. All right. I'm going to go. Uh. No, you go first. Okay. You go first. Number six. Now, I didn't know this battle needed to happen until a few days ago. Okay. I was at my mom's house, and I was rummaging around her stuff, Mm -hmm. and I seen this spray, Mm -hmm. and it was a new type of Lysol, Mm -hmm. air uh, air something. I don't know. It was a... All navy blue can, and I was trash, like, trash, trash. Th- th- well, I was like, wow, let me smell this, right. and I was like, yo, this smells mad good. Yeah. It's different than what I use at the house, the yeah. Febreze, mm-hmm. and I was like, yo, they need the battle. So, top six rap battles that should happen. Number six, Febreze versus Lysol. That's a very old person. Um, Who smells better? That's a very old person battle to me. I, I mean, listen, when you need your Lysol house smells, smelling, no, Lysol's trash. Lysol is trash. If we talking about like just scents, Lysol OG and they got new scents now. Yeah, but Febreze make your your whole place smell like a new place. But does it disinfect the air? Yeah, they have the um Febreze mm-hmm. sanitizer now. Nah, see, no, and, they do. And it's it don't smell as good. It don't oh, smell as good Lysol. as everything else. Yeah, listen. Oh, you might be talking about the same shit. I might be. It look like a Febreze bottle. It's like a light spray, not like a yeah. Like a, Oh, yeah. it's like an airy spray. Yeah. Oh, they, nah, they trying to fuck with Febreze a little bit. Um, listen, I think that in a rap battle, Lysol would win. Because Lysol, it's first stronger, of all, they got, they, go OG, they got OG status. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they definitely stronger. Yeah, they go hard. You know what I mean? And, and and their new scents? Their new scents? No, I don't think that their scents are better. I think it's a good two out of three, but not the third. Oh, man, you wildin'. If we just going off of effectiveness for scent, I think that the Febreze got it. But okay. that's me. Okay, that's you. That's, that's you. Me. I want to see the battle, though. Yeah, I think that's, that's... what I want to see, man. All right, I got one. I've Number talked... five rap battles that should happen. I'm sorry. I got one. Um, I've talked about it before. I don't think we've really gotten down to the nitty gritty on it. And this shit's starting to piss me off because I'm realizing that I'm not friends with a lot of people like I thought I was. Okay. Um, smooth and crunchy peanut butter. I think that the people <laughs> who want smooth to be the thing are fucking immature. And that's what it is. And I think that the crunchy peanut butter is more organic. It's more natural. Wait, 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 it's wait, It's more wait, wait. like, I'm not trying to be something I'm not. Like, bitch, I'm a peanut in butter. I'm not just peanut butter. Like, don't try to put me with everybody else, nigga. I'm not them. I'm me in butter. Bitch. I'm still me, but I'm in butter, bitch. I'm not all butter. I was never butter to begin with. I was always a peanut. I'm sorry. I got tight. You you realize I got that tight. I got tight. You realize that crunchy peanut butter is just smooth peanut butter with peanuts in it, right? Yeah. And, and I said in but it's it's different though. It still it still has the integrity of the peanut. Like you never gonna mistake important. it. You never gonna mistake it for anything else other than peanut butter because they are actual peanuts. That's like when you if that's the case. Cashew butter, sunflower butter, almond butter, all them bitches look the same. They look like Instagram baddies. Bitch, I'm me. I'm original. I'm just me, but I'm in butter. Like the butter want to be me, but it got to be smooth so we can go on the bread. You feel me? Oh, 
shit. I didn't even think about that until just now. It wanna be me. And that's a word. <laughs> that's a word. Hallelujah. It wanna be me. Ah, but I'm just me. <laughs> ah. You gotta be around. Sometimes you surrounded by your circle gotta be, you know, authentic. You want an authentic circle around you, don't you? Don't you? Okay, you don't want a whole bunch of pretenders. You don't, when you were, oh, that's a word. Hold on, hold on to me. You don't want a whole bunch of people around you that believe the same thing you do. Right? Uh, I don't know about that. No, you don't want a whole bunch of people around you that they are the exact same. When you have friends, you need a community of different people around you. What the hell does that have to do with peanut butter? <laughs> you know what it does. No, get the fuck off of me. <laughs> what? It's oh, not man. the same. They not all the same. They individuals. Well, speaking of butter, number four, this is this 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 right here, this battle has to happen today. Today. Cocoa butter versus shea butter. Well, how would you know about either one of those? Man, Ooh, I'm I. You know what? I think I'm high. I think I'm just saying stuff. You don't be ashy at all. You well, always. I, do you see ash? Ain't no ash. Baby, they can't see your feet. <laughs> don't do that to me. Don't let me put my feet out. Don't 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 pull your feet out. You don't want to do that either. My feet, my feet ain't okay. What made you even say cocoa butter and shea butter? Okay, because like cocoa butter is. It'll moisturize the shit out of you. Yeah, it does. But shea butter, when you put it on, I think the scent, like, first of all, I don't even know what a shea is. That feels racist, honestly. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know what shea is, but whatever shea is, mm -hmm. that shit smells amazing. Yeah, but I think it's, I think And then it makes, is... your, it makes your body feel silky. Like, cocoa butter make your body feel moisturized, but shea butter makes your body feel silky. And Palmer's is the reason that this battle should happen because they put both of them out like, oh yeah, use this, use that, use this, use that. First of all, this is not sponsored, so you gotta chill the fuck out. Nah, I'm just saying they 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 put they they don't have a a, a, a dog in a fight. It seemed like also maybe if I buy you shea butter, you'll start using it more. I, what? B baby, come on. We we both can look at your feet right now. My feet. Don't don't you don't you pull them up for nobody. And this is also an audio broadcast, so. Um, they can't hear your feet unless you rub them against that mic and it's going to be <laughs> loud. <laughs> uh, it's going to sound like a windstorm on this podcast. <laughs> Whatever. Number, 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 number three. Rap battles that should happen. Number three. Um, I wrote them down. Oh, dog people plus cat people um, or and cat people. I think there should be a battle because you had told me something about loving cats. And I think that is questionable because cats are assholes, even though dogs are actual bitches. I think that cats have a little bit of an attitude and I don't really like that shit. And I think that people that like dogs are a little calmer and they're a little more set in their personality. I think cat people are erratic as fuck. What do you mean? Why do you want somebody to just run around your house stressed as fuck all the time? No. The and why are you going to let somebody in your house that don't even want you in there? Cats don't want you in their damn house. They don't want you to talk to them. Bitch, don't walk around my house. Talk to Come over here. Listen. <laughs> you hear me when I'm talking to you? Listen, I am a cat person, yes, but I will say that I got a little scared when I found out that if you die in your house... The cat may wait like two days before it starts eating you. Wait. Because they want to eat regardless. Did They're going to survive. Did I not just say that cat don't give a fuck that you in that house? <laughs> no, it cares. No, they like, thanks a lot for providing this shelter for me, bitch, but I'm waiting for you to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real meal. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even like you for but real. But in that battle, I think a cat, I think the cats win. I don't Cat know. People win. I don't know. I think dog they are just like wow. I'm I feel like dog people are probably better lyricists because we're a little more calm and like like we think about shit Wait, before you're we do yourself it. A dog people? I I I a, a dog people? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about myself a person that likes dogs. But um I feel like that we are just a little more set in our emotions or we can like think before we react. Have I feel you ever like, had a dog? Yeah, I have. Really? Yeah, I, told I didn't you that. know that. I had it was a uh, Rottweiler Golden Retriever mix. Her name was Sheba. She was a bitch too, but whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she don't support my point because she acted like a bitch ass cat. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think that we just would be able to like think about shit. I think cat people are um, 
uh, niggas like mystical. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you take a cat person, Yo, you get mystical. Nah, don't do that. That's, don't do that. Why? He got too many problems. I'm coming with my dick in my hand. That's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cat. Because why don't you care that your dick is in your hand? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, what's next? Um, number two, rap battles that should happen. Missionary versus Doggy Style. The, the, listen. I know who you're going to have to win, and I know who I'm going to have to win. And I think that, uh, yeah, I think the same thing about, no, no. Nah. What? So who would you say? I think <laughs> that in a Doggy Style versus Missionary rap battle, yeah. Doggy Style wins. Oh, that's crazy. I thought she was going to go with Missionary. Well, listen, I love Missionary. Yeah. I'm a fan of Missionary. Yeah. I got all of his greatest hits. Who's the Missionary equivalent of a rapper? <sighs> J. Cole. Because it's still good, but it, it don't want no trouble. It what? Don't want it. <laughs> it, don't, it don't want no... It's still good. Like, it's good. It's good as fuck. It gets the job done, yeah, but man. like, it don't, it don't want like nothing, nothing different. Like, it just, I'm gonna just be a good position. Right, right. And that's, and that's it. it. I'm just gonna be good at this thing. Right. I don't need none of the, the spectacularness. Yeah, you I'm don't need just... the flip. I'm good right here. White tea. I get it. Just grow my hair anyway, yeah, right? That... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, missionary, baby. I get it. But doggy style would win, first of all. It's aggressive. Mm. It, it's aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, there's already an album that's a classic called Doggy Style. Oh, and that's crazy. Matt lyrics up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and doggy style is the only position where the control is so crazy, you can't even look at the person the entire time. Mm. It's that crazy. That's good. Yeah, man. That's so good. there we go. Then number two, missionary versus doggy style. Mm -hmm. um, the number one rap battle that should happen, though. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Okay, I already know. And it's honestly at this point, I'm ready for whatever the fuck y'all got. Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme. Who do you got winning? And that? you know what's crazy? I understand that today. The Bronx is the highest rated city. Right. I understand that. But I don't give a fuck when it comes to that hot and now sign. What? I don't give a fuck. When that sign come on, first of all, Krispy Kreme care about us so much that they let us know when they ready. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like, hey, don't come over here. Don't get this bullshit. This shit cold. Wait until we have the hot and ready donuts. Like, okay. don't give me the. I don't want the. I'm not I, like I'm not going after Krispy Kreme when it's like in the grocery store or something like that because sometimes they'll have the old ones. And no, I'm I want it to melt. I want to bite into that shit. I want to get it on my fingers. I want it to melt. I don't even know if we talking about rap anymore. I just want it between my fingers on my hands. I put it in my mouth and I lick it off. I want I want that donut. I don't give a fuck about a Dunkin' or a donut. I don't so, give a fuck about them. So if my nut was sugary, you would do the same thing. What, just lick it up and just... Mm -hmm. And hopefully it don't melt in my mouth. I hope it stay a solid, but... <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, the... the <laughs> oh, the nut. Um, no, I want, the, I want the nut to be hot and ready. I don't... You know what? I do prefer... I prefer... Warm, creamy nut to the nut that lasts after it has stuck on my thigh. I prefer. Yo. I prefer that because the other one is harder to get off. It is. It is. It's harder to get off. Oh, so if it's a battle, mm -hmm. then they gonna start off slow. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a minute till they hit a punchline. But Krispy Kreme comes hot and ready. <laughs> They ready whenever they drop in. They they ready to battle at all times. They don't have to think about it. They just there. That's what the fuck I want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was our rap battles that should happen. Our top six rap battles that should happen. If you have a rap battle that needs to happen, throw it up in the comments, man, so we can read them. Uh, that was an intense them. one. I felt every bit of that. Yeah, I was sweating a little bit, man. I did. These it's battles also, is crazy. It's also hot. And then midway through, my edible kicked in. So that's where I'm at. Let's what? go. Nothing. Come on, let's go. Where we at? Oh, my gosh. Question <laughs> of the day. <laughs> yeah. It was only a piece of edible. What's your ultimate role play scene? 
Okay, so I think I used to have one that was, I don't know what it was, mm -hmm. um, but I think my new one is. New one? I think I have a new one. Okay. The new role play scene that I really want to do is the Instacart shopper and the customer. Explain. I want to have put my order in from my Instacart, but it's like just edible, sexy shit. Just like, you know. Strawberries. Like strawberries, all that shit. Chocolate syrup. And then, yeah, all that. Whipped cream. Uh, Not whipped cream. Uh, I don't really. Non-dairy like whipped cream. Yeah, something, you know, something like. And then when I go out to go get my groceries, mm -hmm. they they taking a picture because you know if you you got to take the picture first to make mm -hmm. sure that the company know you delivered the order. Mm -hmm. And then um, they leaving, but they kind of smiling at me. And then it's like, what you about to do with all that stuff? And then I'm like, nothing. They're like, mm hmm. And then they walk away, and I'm like, I mean, I can show you. And then you come in the house. We you do know what the problem, we're about to do with that stuff. You know the problem with that? The only problem with that, your voice would never do that to a person. It, Vulnerable and sexy at the same time? Your voice doesn't do that. It can. It cannot. My voice can do that. Yeah. In real life? Baby, I'm, I told you I'm trying to work on being sexy and I would try, I would do that. I'm With this call to, center shirt I, on, you trying to work on sexy? Is your call center shirt. Hey, but you wearing it. I know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it's flowers. Listen, I <laughs> am already <laughs> insecure about my hair is all over the place. It's a lot of things happening. Anyway, yes, I would want to, I would, and I would answer the door in like a row because I didn't real, I didn't track the order. Like I didn't realize that he was arriving now. Right. And then he arrives. And you would have lingerie now. on. Yeah, I would. I would. Air, I, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah, all she of was these coming. things. All of these things would never. It's happen. a role play scene. Yeah. Okay. It's like oh, I forgot you was coming. Well, we gonna do that. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back. Oh, you know what? It also. It it it's also gonna depend on if you get my order right because you be <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> if you don't come back with it exactly, I had on like the thing that I ordered in my little summary. Then I'm giving you three stars, and you're going to get the fuck out of my house. Okay. <laughs> you got to come back with the exact order, and that's what makes it sexier, because I can't believe I have a male Instacart shopper, and he got the order right. Now I'm, so I, I'm instantly turned on. I'm going to just tell you, yo, they didn't have the chocolate syrup, but I got something a little better for you. No, because then it would be vanilla syrup. That's not what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate syrup sounds like shit. I don't want that. <laughs> Give me something else. Then I would have to order whipped cream, and then you'd be like, "I got some more whipped cream." Non dairy. They, I got some non dairy whipped cream. There you go. It's a little. It's vegan too. Oh. Because you, your diet has changed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, "Oh my god, give me some of that healthy." You know. Well, my ultimate role play scene actually came about um, this week. Uh, you know, we were we we mentioned earlier that. Uh, our house, the holes were being filled up. Oh, this is predictable. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is so you. Yeah, so I'd be working on the plaster and everything, and you'd be like, so how long until you finish the holes? I'd be like, well, it's actually one more hole that I got to close up. Oh, my God. <laughs> the thing is, you could not say that and just say something in that voice, and you know I'm automatically going to be like, oh, <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'm gonna I'm gonna have some gloves on and everything. Oh shit. A little little paint. Oh, I'm gonna just be happy that you did manual labor and that's gonna turn me on. <laughs> Cause when you go you go out there and you mow the grass, I'll be like, oh my God, look at him. Look at my man out there mowing the grass. Oh man, let's get into your answers. Uh woo, can't see that. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Too big. All right, there we go. Um, uh, what's the ultimate role play scene? What's your ultimate role play scene? My man coming home to find my ex girl licking my pussy. He pulls up a chair and enjoys the show. But can he join the show? <sighs> no, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like he just watches. Mm. That's you know I, I fuck with that. Excuse me. You know the problem with watching your girl and another girl? No, I don't. And just watching? I don't know it because I'm... Is that I'm going to get there mm -hmm. and I'm going to be watching. Yeah. I'm going to pull my stuff out. Yeah. I'm going to do what I do. Yeah. And after I finish, I'm going to leave you niggas. I'm not saying for the for the whole show. But what if I want you to? 
I'm done. Well, then you, why you can't just pace yourself? Pace yourself. How much pacing do I need to do? I don't know, but you just pace yourself. It's hard to pace yourself when you know what to do to yourself. But when you, you can fuck for a long time. So why can't you just hold back? Like, you know, for a minute, just pace yourself. Nah, if I pace myself, then I got to put it on you after I'm finished. Both of y'all. But what if we already... Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that, too. That's, <laughs> that's fine. All right, what is, what is the question? Uh, what's your ultimate role play scene? Pilot and flight attendant or parent-teacher conference. I think I've... Pilot and flight attendant. Okay. Uh, but our, Parent teacher conference. I don't know about pilot and flight. I'm, it's gonna make me feel unsafe because we can't be fucking while we, you know, the plane in there. Yeah, you can. No, the you got the autopilot. Air. You got a co-pilot too. And co-pilot. Okay, Hell yeah. that's right. That could, Hell yeah. And that, but them little bathrooms. Them bathrooms so little. Well, what gonna, if you fucking in the cockpit while the other person is still flying a plane? Oh, that's kind of fly. They get yeah. the watch. You gotta make sure they trained though. In the air. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, they can't just be like, nah, you know. Nah, that's kind of fly. You can't just be. In a parent teacher conference, I actually seen. I thought this. you was gonna say I actually did. I was supposed to be no, like, no, 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 you're no. supposed to go on a field trip next week. <laughs> <laughs> no field trip for you. Nah, I actually seen um, uh, a flick like that where mm. where the girl was was definitely there for a parent teacher conference and. Yeah. She was like, yeah, the only way your son going to get an A is if you eat this pussy. And then they was eating it. And then the son came in and he was like, oh, what y'all doing? And she was like, ooh, you know what I'm doing. You want to get this A, you better pull that dick Excuse out. Excuse me. Wait, what? Stepmother. It was stepmother porn. You just talking about a teacher fucking a student and that's not okay. In the porn it is. And it might have been college. I don't know. Okay. Well, it's not okay. Um, uh, your ultimate role play um, scenario cosplay as Super Mario and Princess Peach and pretending the blue crew is power up is a power up mushroom I think you meant blue chew oh the blue chew I was like that's how I'm about to be like I know a little bit about Mario I don't know who the blue crew is (laughs) as a power up that's funny that is funny that is funny that's funny Um, butler costume she has queen she has a queen costume. I play royal music in the background, get her ready for her bath. Mm. Ooh. I was just talking about a bath the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I love a bath. I ain't had a bath in a while. Don't say that. No, well, I've had showers. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I ain't just sat in a <laughs> bath. Shut up. Um... What does it say? What is it? Uh, the bar at the hotel bar. Wait, the bar at the hotel bartender and the sexy lonely divorcee. Um, at closing time, she leaves him a room key. I've always wanted to do that. Mm. Leave the room key. Just leave the room key and see if you show up. Yeah. You know why I could never do that? I because you'd be dis- losing your room I, I, keys I, and you don't have the second one. That's why you could never do that. <laughs> Damn. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, because I would just be sitting there and I wouldn't know when you were going to come up there. And what if you didn't come up? I'd be disappointed. But also, what if you came up at the wrong time? Like, what if I'm right in the middle of shaving my legs or I just got a lunch so I could eat before you got there and you walk in while I got a sub? I think about things like that. Two things is wrong with that. What? Especially for you. What? One, you should be already prepared with your legs shaved or whatever the I case guess, may be. Yeah, if you're giving a room yeah, key. Yeah, if you're giving room keys, you should be prepared. Okay. But two, you don't like to have sex after you eat. I don't. That's what I'm saying. He would have to wait 30 minutes. Because <laughs> I need a, it's got to digest. No. And it's like, no. you can't invite a stranger up. And then make them wait because then what are you going to do in between that time? I don't even know you. I just came here to fuck. You masturbate a little bit, but not you. You you edge yourself. I don't even want to. Women edge. I don't even want to masturbate after I've eaten. Like I need. I I don't want to. Well, don't eat. But what if I'm fucking a stranger and my stomach start growing? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Is that sexy to you? What if I'm... I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now. <laughs> if my stomach just start going... <laughs> you, you, you know what? <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. I'm the type of fucker that would just continue. Man. I'm going to act like I didn't hear it. 
I've done Even that. Even with a stranger? With a stranger. I'm going to act like I ain't here. You wouldn't it. be like, yo, you still got a gallbladder or what? Like, I just want to know what's happening. <laughs> like, no, how I bad might... is it going to be if you don't eat? No, no, no. <laughs> After we finish, I might say, I could tell that you're a little hungry. I heard you earlier. Are you going to feed me, though? Because I'm going to be mad if I fucked you and then you just be I'm like, all right, man, you. I'm going to go. We in the hotel, remember? Go get some room service. i see you later. Or not. Well, then don't bring up the fact that my stomach was growling. Because we, I don't want to talk about it unless you go buy me some food. The, Does that, you fucked me, right? Like, nothing happened. Nothing's wrong. Are you going to mention the food and then buy me some food? Like, that's dumb. See? You see? You always got to get something for fucking. I don't care. It's messed up. I think that's stupid. I think what you said is messed up. <laughs> God, uh, what was the question? Um, the ultimate role play scene. The one where I play as the owner of the Dallas Cowboys and we actually win a chip. Okay. But are you are you envisioning yourself as the owner? Because then that feels weird. A little weird. A little, little weird. Bit. Jerry oh. Jones, yeah. That would be all right. Yeah. Is there, all right. Um, wow, this is wild. Right off top. Uh, what's your <laughs> ultimate role play fantasy? Mm-hmm. Um, I want her to run me over with her car, and then when she notices that I'm all messed up, she gives up that booty hole, and I'm miraculously fine afterwards. <laughs> Yo, the butt will heal. But you want me to just fuck you in the street? No, no, no. Run you, me over with the car. You hit me in with the car, like, like, uh, yeah, that's in the street. Like Back to the Future. Where the, the father hit hit uh, yeah. Michael J. Fox with the car and they brought him up to the house. And when he wakes up, his mom is there. But it ain't his mom. It's you. And I'm, I'm waking up like, oh, my God. God. Damn, you bad. And you be like, and I'm I like, where's my, where's my I pants? Think, I think they want to fuck in the middle of the street. No. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Somebody said, Velma Scooby-Doo, go ahead and lose them glasses, girl. I've seen a lot of people say Velma is sexy. Yeah, people love... Nobody ever dresses as Daphne. Everybody dresses as Velma. Everybody. Is it because of the glasses? It might be like the little schoolgirl. Like, I bet she don't fuck. Let me, let me see. You know? It's always a challenge. Like, she probably don't even be fucking for real. Let me go see. I guess. She I guess. I can see that. <laughs> um, cocktail waitress and customer. I want to go under the table. Hey, mm. I've watched a couple of porns like that, and they look fun. Mm. Um, man doing chores, woman sipping wine while she watches. That's sexy. I fuck with that too. I like the sipping wine part. Yeah. The sipping wine part is definitely dope. I feel like you've done that before. Yeah. Like while I was fucking somebody else, <laughs> yeah. you was sipping wine. Yeah, you didn't like it either. I didn't? No. You ain't like it. You ain't like it. Do you remember why? You didn't like me doing that because it, you said that when I just leave you, that... <laughs> You you be feeling some type of way when I just leave and you just be fucking. Oh, that, that's because you, no. What Kristen would do is I'd be fucking and she would just vanish and I'm just left there with the girl and we both like where the fuck did Kristen go and she's just in the room sleep or some shit like that. Yeah, that's what because I be sleep. Terrible man. I'm sorry. I'm, this this I'm, used to be yours. I'm sorry. A I'm, burglar breaks in while the lonely housewife is home. And I'm still down with that shit. I thought about doing that. To it's your really ass too. just. First of all, don't. Why not? Because it's you. It's a fantasy. No, because I'm gonna. I'm gonna probably just try to fuck you. Up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a ski mask on. Baby, that's scary for me. Yeah, but I want to see. It's a fantasy. No, you got to tell me that we're doing it that I'm day. A, I'm a, no. At I'm least tell that you, day. I'm gonna tell you, yo, you're gonna get a surprise tonight. And that's it. I'm scared, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wanted it until just now. <laughs> I didn't know it was really going to happen. But it was really to save my family. I was fucking to save my family, well, not just getting robbed. Like, I'm fucking to save my family because they like, this is the only thing. Like, I don't even want no money. I'm just, I want that pussy. It felt weird saying pussy. I'm high. Don't, don't forget that. Um... Scenario where I'm blind and someone takes me by the hand and I'm completely clueless as to what is happening. Then I'm taken to a place where it's slightly cold and I'm unsure as to what will happen next. Basically, any role where I'm aware and can build suspense. Unaware. Unaware and I can build suspense. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like the same, the Robin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite role play fantasy? I'm asleep, he asleep, in sync. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that one too. Um, 
Getting tied up and punished for being a bad girl or being tied up and rewarded for being a good girl. Being dirty and having to get feather dusted, get a feather and a blindfold, it will change your life. A feather and a blindfold? You're not, not going to want to ever do that not to me. For you. I know you was going to say that. Not for you. You so ticklish, B. Like, <laughs> I could never get a feather. I knew you was going to say that. Never. I already knew. You, know I, you what I'm can't. Saying? I am, I, it's bad. It's really bad. It's ridiculous. I understand. I'm sorry. I can't even touch her sensually. Like, she'd be like, who? Nothing, nothing, there's nothing wrong. I, but I'm trying to be in it. Like, I'm like trying, I try really hard, but sometimes I hold it in so much that I damn near spit on myself laughing. So like once it builds up. I'm telling you, between sad. that, and I do this too, but between that and right before you about to fuck, somebody say, I got to pee. That is the but why? Total... I don't understand. What if I got to pee? No, why did you pee before? Because I didn't, what if I didn't know we was about to fuck? And then I got to pee. You should always know we about the fuck. Baby, we literally were in the bed the other day. You started kissing on my neck. I started to grab your dick and you said, I got to pee. <laughs> I told you I do it sometimes too. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You started all, you did it. You no, did it. You know what it was? I just woke, I was like half sleep because I think, I don't think I'd fully gotten up for the day. Right. And I was like rolling over or something. And then you started it. You know what it was? Because I knew I had to pee, but I was like, man, she ain't going to be with the sex. I'm just going to fuck with her a little bit. But why would you do that? And because then I was with it, and then what? I was I was taken off guard. I was like, oh shit, I I, I got to pee. I got to get this out of here. <sighs> that shit was fill it up with something else. And God then damn. we was we started fucking, and the damn baby came. Oh we, my gosh! Knocking on the door. Hello. And then when we opened the door, we him get, and his brother, they sitting at the door. Like, man, listen. That shit was hilarious. I'm so glad we stopped as soon as we heard. <laughs> Because I was like, baby. Uh, 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 and he was like, they might go away. And I was like, they no, they won't. Away. They did not go away. They, they stood away. right by that door until we opened that door. And we opened the door for like five, ten minutes, okay? Yeah, like, it was like some time. We had stopped. We got dressed and all that. <laughs> they was like, I know mommy and daddy in there. <laughs> I know they in there. I know there's a mommy in there. <laughs> I know it's at least a mommy. <laughs> she will open this door for me. Um, shorty pull up, pay all my credit card bills. That's real. Yeah, that's, that's real. Yeah. That's that's a fantasy. It's a nice one. Um, what is your ultimate role play fantasy? Me and my partner doing a sexy photo shoot and actually end up having sex and videotaping it also. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Oh, he picks me up and takes me to Target and says, I paid all the bills and you can buy whatever you want in Target and Aldi. Yeah, I fuck with that. Nah. I fuck with that. Nurse working on patient vitals. Had that done before. Baby, you, I don't care. That was. You got to stop telling me that. What? Because I get mad every time you go to the doctor and you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go soon. Um, picture it. A friend is trying to seduce my man. He tries to tell her it isn't a good idea and I catch them and I tell both of them how well they make it up to me. Yeah, I like that. Well, okay. that's why when we have threesomes, I usually try to like let you start and then I leave. Because I like to come back to it actually happening. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I like, I, you know, because I get to watch it and then I get to participate. But I like to, you know. And that is pressure, guys. It's, it's fine. It works out. That is pressure. It works Not out. Not only is it pressure, but then the girl that's there is usually like, I don't know if I should do it. And then I got to convince her, no, it's perfectly fine. She kind of likes it. Just, I'm just sorry. flow with it. Well, then we got to start telling people beforehand. <laughs> this is what we like to Yeah, do. this is what <laughs> Kristen likes specifically. <laughs> My hair is all over the place. Um... Another role play scenario. The owner of a brothel and I have to interview all of the potential male employees and I find one that will become my personal assistant for my new establishment or be the owner of the fictional club, The Den, based off the books by Stephanie Nicole Norris, Stiff Strip Stroke Harder. What? Okay. Okay, cool. I got to read that book. That was also well, that was not. a plug, too. I, I appreciate that. Um, a man fixing my car and I can't pay him money and then do it by any means. Yeah, Yay. I get that. Hey, I've always wanted that. Somebody fix your car? No, like somebody give me sex for payment. You tried to make me do that yesterday. And I was like, what? Like, you a parent. So what? Our child had to go and take her driving test, like a driver's ed test. At 7 p.m. at night. Whatever. So she had to go take this test. And he thought that I was going to take her. But I wanted to spend some time with my boys because 
every they're busy all day. We're busy all day. By the time they ready to go to bed, I'm like it's a whole thing. So I said, I wanted to spend time with the boys. You can go take her. And he said, well, if I do it, you got to give me head. Nigga, are you not a parent? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't see what the problem was. All right. Um, is that it? Is that all of them? One last one. Um, the one where I turned my husband into a single father. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great one to end with. I hate y'all so much. Oh, That's man. Funny. Let's take a pause for the cause, man. Um, as y'all know, we are... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're adding dates. I, I say we're on tour, but we're like always on tour. This is actually a really good month for us because uh, we're not really doing anything. But um, April 25th, I will say we are um, at the Richmond Funny Bone with Lauren Lionel for their live show. So if you want to come to that, um, feel free. We love them. It'll be a good time. All right. May 10th and 11th. Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to be at the Comedy Zone. We love the Comedy Zone. This is for two shows. It's on a weekend. It's a whole thing. Make sure you get your tickets now. I think this is about to fall. Okay. May 19th, Tampa, Florida. We're going to be at the Funny Bone. I think it was formerly the Improv. It is now the Funny Bone. Um, May 19th. All these tickets that I'm going to announce are on sale currently, so make sure you make your way to go get these tickets. May 31st. St. Louis, Missouri, we're coming back to the City Winery. Super excited about that one. June 8th, Chicago, we're going to be in City Winery again. Two shows. Make sure you get your tickets. June 9th, we're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio at the Funny Bone. We love that club. It's a dope little vibe. It's right on the water. It's a whole thing. Get your tickets. June 21st, we're going to be in Pittsburgh at the City Winery. I think our first time coming there was last year, so we're excited to come back. June 23rd, we're going to be in Detroit at the Detroit House of Comedy. Detroit, y'all know y'all been in my number one, and I mean, in my top five that I keep stretching out to like 21 cities, but you know you've been up there every single time. Hopefully, we can do that again. That is also two shows. July 5th, we're going to be in New York City at the City Winery once again. Last year we were there. We sold it out. Let's do the same thing this year. Get your tickets right now. July 21st. Someone just asked me about this one. Miami. July 21st, we're going to be at the Miami Improv again. Last time we were there, it was for my birthday. We're coming back. Super excited to come back to Miami. Um, and it's during the summer. I don't know what y'all doing, but, like, it's, it's, it's the whole thing, right? July 26th, Boston. Y'all been asking us to come back to Boston. We came there last year for the very first time. We had a ball. We're going to be at the City Winery once again. August 17th, Atlanta, Georgia. Two shows. We're going to be at the City Winery. Every time we come to Atlanta, we sell Atlanta out. So get your tickets right now. Um, let me go back through these cities. May 10th and 11th, Charlotte, North Carolina. That's coming up at the Comedy Zone. That's for two shows. May 19th, we're going to be in Tampa, Florida at the Tampa Funny Bone. May 31st, St. Louis at the City Winery, June 8th. Chicago, two shows at the City Winery, June 9th. Cleveland, Funny Bone, June 21st, um, Pittsburgh at the City Winery. June 23rd, Detroit, Detroit House of Comedy for two shows once again. July 5th, New York City at the City Winery. July 21st, Miami at the Improv. July 26th, Boston City Winery. August 17th, Atlanta City Winery two shows you can get all your tickets at and then we had sex.com you can also get your tickets at the link tree in the tiktok in the instagram facebook all that stuff um you can also get them on the venues websites so make sure you get your tickets right now i know everybody is on tour right now i understand it i get it i promise you this is going to be an experience like no other make sure that you get your tickets a sap this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp Therapy Online. For 10% off your first month, go to betterhelp.com slash A-T-W-H-S. It can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. What's the right amount of socializing for you? Um, and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people or maybe you need some more alone time. That's kind of like me. I thrive around people, but also I 
you know, um, getting to like people. <laughs> Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your ba battery. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who's, who've had, at, mm, it isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. I think that's a common misconception with um, therapy. Um, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. I cannot talk today. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge, which is great. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ATWHS today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash A-T-W-H-S. That is awesome. Therapy is always great. And I know it seems like you sometimes people are feeling better just because the weather is great. Like the weather has been really nice lately. But like make sure y'all take care of yourselves. I'm big on that. Y'all know that. Facts. Um, also, make sure that you join the Patreon. The Patreon is up right now. We got another Patreon episode dropping this week. Um, so you definitely want to check that out. Go to patreon.com forward slash and then we, or you can go to the Patreon app in your uh, Google Play or uh, Apple's, uh, Apple App Store, whatever the case may be, wherever. Just just get us on Patreon. And don't be a free member because if you're a free member, you can't see anything. And I think a lot of people think that they can see stuff and yeah. they just join the Patreon. But nope, can't do that. You got to be a paid member, but it's mad, small, different tiers you know, a couple of dollars it is less than something that you would pay at McDonald's because I just went to McDonald's to get the boys something and that shit was expensive. Yeah, same. Expensive. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, be, make sure that you are a member of the Patreon. Also, make sure that you're following us on socials. We are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We are on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We are on TikTok. Mm -hmm. All and then we pod. Just mm -hmm. put that in the search and you will find us. You'll find clips from episodes and a whole lot more. Yep. Um, yeah, so make sure that you are a part of that. Yeah. Um, let's get into some topics. <sighs> topics, topics. It's a slow week. A real slow week. Yeah. Real slow week, man. Um, <laughs> Tiger Woods has given up sex to prepare for the masters, his friends are saying. Um, I think that he should have more sex. That's what I think. Because when he was fucking a lot, he was great. Mm. I think that's the wrong decision. I think you got to get out there and you got to do what you do best. And that's fucking and putting. <laughs> fucking and putting. Fucking and putting. I think we got a title for the episode. We can't put fucking in the title, so we can't use that. I don't know. Scooting and booting? I don't know. <laughs> I think you got to do what works. Don't switch it up at the last minute. Your body works better under pressure and empty. And empty. And empty. I, have you ever given up sex for something? To get prepared for something? Uh, nah. Oh, no, I don't operate. I think I, think I'm, I think I can just get things done, you know. But, really? Yeah, I don't, I, you know, I haven't given up sex because of something. But you know, I don't, I'm not fucking all the time. So I never thought that that was the thing that was keeping me from being great in something. Really? You know, I wasn't fucking so much that I could not concentrate on anything else that I was doing. Okay. So I was, yeah, I was just, no. I, I gave up, I gave up sex one time to uh, focus on music. Damn. Cause it was messing me up. Like. You couldn't sing? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't understand. It wasn't that, but like I had rehearsals and studio sessions and all of that. And I just wasn't, either I wasn't making them or my mind was stuck on who am I going to fuck as soon as I leave out of here. And I wasn't giving my all. I was just in it. And I had to just say, you know what? No sex right now. I'm trying not to be judgmental because that could be a real issue. No, nah, nah, I mean, honestly, that's actually why I started getting into relationships. Because I was like, cause, yeah, explain. No, I was like, basically, if I get into a relationship that I'm only focused on one person, it's guaranteed sex. I'm not dating and, you know, trying to warm up the vagina to get to it. You know, the sex already there and waiting for me. So, you know, let me get into a relationship so that I don't have to, it doesn't have to be on the forefront of my mind. I don't know. I, I guess people 
people just, you know, they do things for different reasons. I didn't know. I just never heard. So you don't think you have a sex addiction? You don't think that's a thing that you have? I think you do. Nobody does any of the things that you do surrounding sex. What do you mean? Baby, you just said, I started to fall, like I fell in love so I wouldn't, so I could just get the rest of my life in order. <laughs> I figured I'd just fall in love so I could just drive a car right and just go to, like, what? I could save money. Yeah. I could make it to my classes. Yeah. That, all, all of those things are true. I don't think that's an addiction. Like, okay, sex addiction, uh, sex addiction refers to excessive sexual thoughts, desires, urges, or behaviors that can't be controlled and can't distress and harm you, to your relationship, uh, can't cause distress and harm to your relationship, finances, and other aspects of your life. Yes, baby. You had to fall in love to avoid, like, getting out of line. That's crazy. Okay, maybe I had a slight sex addiction. I, I don't think it's anything that goes away. I think you're always a survivor. That's what they tell you <laughs> in the beginning. And I, this is a, to bring it, like, I'm not bringing nobody down, but I think that you got to recognize that shit. That's kind of crazy. Now, there are people that stop. I think that Ty Tiger has a, probably a sex addiction. Maybe not. I, no, he was probably just like, I got money. I can fuck whoever I want. That's right. what I think. But also, like, if it's keeping you from doing things and you have to say out loud to yourself, I'm giving up sex so I can do this thing. But I was young and in the prime of my life and sex was just coming abundantly, like. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I was pregnant, so. <laughs> I was pregnant early. Well, 21 is, you know, it's early enough. So I didn't have that period of time where. It just wasn't, I just never thought of it like that, but. Yeah, I mean, maybe I do have a sex addiction, but yeah. there are worse things to have a addiction of, okay? Well, no, uh, uh, like a severe sex addiction can get you still in trouble. Like, you can still. Well, I don't think it was severe. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but it just sounds like for you to get your life on track, you had to give up pussy, and yeah. that's wild. No, not give up all pussy, just give up most pussy. You had to dwindle the pussy down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Tyrese goes off on freeloading baby mama. I thought this was super interesting, man. Freeloading baby mamas either. So don't even jump in my comments about that. I'm always and have always took care of mine. You gonna leave me? And you wanna take my life with you? That's not happening. I'm gonna fight you to the end of the earth. But as far as what mine need, they gonna have more than enough. Mm. It's not my job to take care of you and your life and go lavish your lifestyle and you decided to leave me. He is hurt. You gonna sit across from your hurt. new boyfriend, mm. your new fiance, your new husband and be pimping off my money while this mm. laying up in something that I'm paying for mm. and driving around in and dinners and vacations that I'm paying for. Time out, time out. Man, this is when you start to show, like, who you are as a person. and Because I know, I, I heard him say this, and I said, I know how you're going to respond. And uh, go ahead. I want you to prove me right. <laughs> All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm torn on this one. I'm torn on this one. On one hand, no. If I'm giving you money and is lavishing your lifestyle to where other people are taking part in it, like a new boyfriend, whatever, that feels a little, what's the word? That feels a little, uh, it's, it's just off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? However, there is a part of me that feels like when you're supporting the child, in turn, you're supporting the parent too, only because if you're not the custodial parent, then that person, the custodial parent, does have to live their life. Now, when you're a celebrity and you got mad bread, 
it's in abundance. Mm -hmm. It's in mad abundance. So I don't I don't know how he probably feels about stuff like that. I have two thoughts. One is that's not the answer I thought you was gonna give. I thought you was gonna be like, but if I was the boyfriend getting the benefits, hell yeah, nigga, I'm driving that car. Or hell yeah, I'm a Now, I would feel house. weird. I would feel mad weird. You would? I would feel weird. I don't want to no. drive another man's car. No. It's hell not no. his car. It's her car. Yeah, but it's... <sighs> um, I still don't want to do it. Um, not, if I, not if I know that you're financing your life through him. But I think that that's the thing. I, the only thing I'm not a big supporter on is like, I think he's talking more like spousal support. I don't think it's child support that he's talking about. He's talking about freeloading spouses. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really, I mean, unless I helped you build some of the shit, like I'm not big on that whole thing. Um, but if it's like the child, if it's child support and child, like I, I don't understand all the interest intricacies, but like now child support, support, if it's talking about child support, then I'm like, child all right, support is I one thing. Yeah. Spousal support. He is goddamn right. No, he right. He right. Real right. He right when it comes to that, but child support is different. Yeah, child's a little different. Yeah, he did a say I'm always take care of mine, right. and I hope that doesn't mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's child support. Like, I, I'm going to go off that. If, if I got bread, I want to make sure that you're good mm -hmm. because you're taking care of my child. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm not going to, when I make sure you're good, I'm not going to put you in like in a, a two-bedroom, small, tiny apartment, and it is what it is. No, I'm going to, if I got the bread, I'm going to make sure that y'all are living you know, a certain type of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's spousal support, my G. Yeah. My G, don't be driving my don't be driving my car. Don't no, be, I get that. That, oh. that. I fucked in that bed at one time. Don't be laying up in my bed. Nigga, now, I'm I say, not buying a new bed. Now, I, I say all that even though I was in a situation one time. Oh, you always in a situation one where time. Where I was kicking it with this chick that was separated from her, from her uh, husband. Uh -huh. And they had once both lived in the house. Mm -hmm. Both shared sure. the bed. No shit. Both you know had the car and all yeah, that makes sense. and i was doing it all yeah i was doing it all because man. i'm not what you yeah you what yeah what? but i felt weird at first and she's the one who said no it's okay it's okay he don't get off the boat for a while oh you was one of them niggas Oh Yo. my gosh! <laughs> wow! Yeah, man, that was another life. That was another life. Yeah, well, you the reason I couldn't. I couldn't date people in the military. What you mean? She wasn't in the military. He was. I know, but like even them just being gone, like they could have a whole another family over there. True. True. Like it's just I, the whole military lifestyle. Even though my family is military, I just couldn't. I. Mm. Couldn't take part. I couldn't. I couldn't be in it. it no, because they were looking at me to go on the military. Thought I don't know. It was probably only for a split second, and then they was like, "Never mind, not crazy. <laughs> nah, never mind." Oh man, but no, honestly. I like, mean, no. Wait, I just want to clarify that if you are in a military relationship, I'm sure yours is going amazing. I'm not talking about you. I'm not gonna say that. I, I'm not talking about y'all. I hope it's going well, but yeah. you know, you might want to. Also, I've seen otherwise, but I mean, it's whatever. Hey, hey, my my oh man, my man's got cheated on while his wife was in the military, man. They 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 mended it, but yeah. yeah no, I, a lot of the people I know that's in the military was fucking most most of them. Yeah, ninety nine percent of them. But it shouldn't count because it's like we we not even in the same country right now usually. All right, and that's enough of you. What's next? I'm just saying, that's like, enough. I don't I don't think relationships pass borders. And okay, all right. Oh. <laughs> It's like it's like when you a you doctor. You gotta stop in, talking to me. No, nah, it's like when you a doctor in a different country. You gotta stop talking you to me. Come, you come to America. Why are you talking to and me? You try to be a doctor. They be like, eh, you can start a nurse, maybe. Like, <laughs> they that is fucked up. They do do that, right? Yeah, man. Like, I don't know if I trust you to be a doctor. Yeah, like it don't it don't count. Like, yeah, we were, we were married in the states, but when I'm over here in Germany, no, it's not the same. It's not the same. You know, you might be like a girl I kicked it with every no. now and again. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. When um, they ask you overseas, are you, are you with somebody? No, nah, I mean, not for real. Man. That's you. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Not for real. Pretty, not for real. I not mean, like, real. you know, there's somebody, but. Um, right now I'm here, if we be honest. What's good? So I'm not with anybody. You don't see nobody, do you? Let's make it happen. <laughs> um. 
Aoki Lee Simmons and Vittorio Asaf. Yeah, I think you got that right, but I don't know. Have reportedly called it quits following the St. Bart's vacay. Now, if you don't know, um, Aoki Lee. It's like 21, maybe? 21 years old, um, and he's like 65 yeah, years old. Yeah. Um, Aoki Lee is the daughter of Kimora and Russell Simmons. Mm -hmm. um, and it, they everybody was up in an uproar this week because she was photo kissing this older gentleman. There's so many different things here. One of them is... Rich people got different lives. I don't know what circles these people run in. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well they know each other. They just got a whole different thing about them. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I judge, but also like I don't, I, I, you, I don't know these people. You know? Yeah, but even past no, but that, also, but as a parent, I would. I wouldn't have let that shit go down. Well, Russell was like, you know, she got to live her life, basically. I'm saying, cause, yeah, because he did the same thing to her mama. Her mama was like 16. That, and I'm, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's what, that was on my mind. Yeah. When I first, when the article first came out that she was kicking him. She said she dude. met him when he, she was like 16. Yeah. So maybe, maybe she got like, like they, they got old ball lover in their DNA or something I, like I, that. I, it's, <laughs> but he wasn't 65 though. True. He wasn't true. that fucking old. True. Um, but also, 21, you think you're an adult? I guess you can drink, you can suck dick. I don't know. Because what are you going to do as a parent when they're 21? And they got bread. What can, what can you do? Yo, don't do that. I can put all my input in, in the world, but like, what if you pay for a flight to go do this shit? But or are you just, just off and doing your own thing because you feel like you're an adult? Because you're grown. You live on your own and all of that. Legally, I you can do it. And, at, I mean, it's only... If I don't live with you, like, you know, she don't live with her. If it's... What are you going to do? Like, I get it from the standpoint of you can do what you want to do as an adult mm. and all that. What I don't get is what is the attraction to these older people. I don't know. Some people are attracted to older people. It's a thing. It, it, that can and be vice, anything. And vice versa. You can ask anybody Not why they're attracted versa. to certain people. Like, people just have types. There are some older people that are sexy. Like, they just have something about them. From the reports that I read, they were like, he has like a more like a child, like, like a playful personality. Like, right. he's a real cool dude. And I've met real cool people that are and that's older cool. than me. And that's cool if, like... I can see a one night stand happening. Yeah, I can see like, you but know, I think that's what happened. Uh, true, because they did break up. Like they a week they ended later. up breaking up right when or, she when or she got maybe back. We thought breaking up, or and they was just not and, together at all. Yeah, I think the media put that they was together. I think that girl was just having a little fling. Yeah, I could I could see that. Like I could definitely see you get caught up with an older you know gentleman or or lady, and y'all just y'all just clicking. You yeah. just like I wonder what it be like. You know what I'm saying? What it be like. Yeah, like, I, I can understand that. Even though my mama used to tell me old women got worms, but, you know. You found out they didn't, though, huh? Yeah, they ain't, shit. They, they had a great vagina, like. All uh, right. You know, that 45 you, plus pussy. You got a, when you, how old were you? Like you saying 45 plus like that's old from I was now. In, I was in my, like, I was young. How young were you? I was, I mean, I was an adult, but I was young. Like 21, 22? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I can't even imagine a 21, 22 you. <laughs> but I can I can understand that. But a whole relationship, the only thing that would be on my mind dealing with a, a person that's that much older than me mm -hmm. is, damn, I'm going to start loving this person and loving our life together, and they're going to croak. Okay. And that you shouldn't wish that on nobody. No, I'm not wishing it on anybody, but it's just facts. If I'm 20-something and you're 60-something, by the time I'm, like, shit, 40, I might have to help you around. I mean... Like, I'm a caregiver yeah, at a certain you, point. Yeah, but if you love them, then you're not going to care if you got to do that or not. Yeah, I, I... Some people don't care. Yeah, I they guess. They just love you. Love them or whatever. You know, love who you love. I guess, but, you know, it takes a lot to wipe a person's ass and you know, I feel like that—that's unless they're your child, that takes years of loving before you're to the wipe your ass stage. Yeah. Of the relationship. I, I guess. Are we there yet? I don't know. No. Uh, okay. I didn't think so either. We are not there. I'm glad we both agree. <laughs>
I mean, you know, if need be, I guess. But I don't know. Oh, um, I don't even like getting a baby's ass when they was younger. So I don't. I don't Damn, this was out a couple of a couple of days ago, maybe like a week or two ago, and we never covered it. But I thought it was so interesting. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. Right, yeah, because see, look, if I'm here in Georgia and you went to San Francisco for the, I'm just saying, I'm saying any city. I'm saying if he went to New York for the weekend, okay, go ahead, go ahead. what I don't, what you don't know, won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. However, if you're going to cheat, you need to do it with respect. Now you yes. do. You do need. I don't like people who are not respectful. So these are the ones that aren't respectful. Yeah, They're talking to the side piece and lying to them. First of all, you already lied to whoever this is on the side. So if you're gonna be respectful, you first you tell that person you give me fifty feet on my woman. Like, <laughs> don't ever approach me when you see me with my woman. So that's the rule. Day. Number one, you that's can never way. approach. I can imagine somebody approaching me. It would just be like what? <laughs> <laughs> I think we get what Who you're saying. Are you? That right there was. Uh, I just really wanted to know what the respect part was because I was very confused. Uh, that was but... Nene Leaks and Carlos King uh, discussing respectful cheating. Um, if you're going feel... to cheat, you need to do it with respect. I understand what she's saying, but I also feel like is it cheating if if you're just okay with it anyway? Is it cheating anymore, or is it just the re relationship dynamic? That's very true. Like, is it still cheating? If I know that there's a possibility that you can go out and do this and I don't really care about it, are you cheating? I don't understand. Well, okay. Maybe it's cheating, but it's uh, ethical cheating. But I don't understand that because if it's just the dynamic in your relationship, then why is it cheating? Well, no, it's cheating because I don't want you out there doing anything with anyone else. Like, that is, no, I don't want you to cheat. At the same time, if you are cheating, don't let me find out about it. Don't let the person approach me or anything like that. Keep it so that they know it, you know, keep it respectful at the same time. I just think that's I think so that's dumb. ethical cheating because as opposed to an open what relationship. If, what if I love them? What if I fall in love with them and then I'm just going to continue to do this for years and years and years and it's never going to stop? Well, that's one of the rules. Like, don't... uh don't fall in love. Exactly. But that's an open so that's, relationship, That's though, what I'm saying. Is, is it cheating if you are... It's cheating if the other person doesn't want you to do if it. If you're letting the option be there and you're not mad about it... No, I don't think you're letting the option be there. I just think that if it happens, make sure that you're being respectful. No, I just don't want it to happen. If I, if, but if, I, if we go somewhere or you go somewhere and I'm like, you can fuck, I don't care. But that's not what's happening here. But that's what it feels like. Nah, 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 nah. Almost. Nah, nah. It, it, it's very close to an yeah, open relationship, I yeah. think. But I think it's more so on the lines of, no, we don't do anything outside our relationship. However, if you do do that... No, mine is you just... If I tell you we're not doing that, we're not doing that. Don't fucking do it. D don't do it. But if you do do it... No, I don't care if it's respectful or not, because then if I find out, I'm going to be mad that you didn't say nothing to me. What you mean? I'm gonna be mad that 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 I didn't know about it. Why? What? Because what? I, you, you know, don't I didn't know want you to won't do hurt it. you. Yeah, but what if I find out and then you say, "Nah, but I did it respectfully." How are you like, gonna no. do it if, if if I'm ethically cheating? It's not. How are you going to find out? That's so dumb. What if I do? What? First of all, I'm a woman. What are you talking about? Wait, just because you're a woman don't mean that you find out about we all cheating that happens. We find out about everything. You find out about what we make sure. We didn't cover our... No, you find out when we didn't cover nah, our tracks. Nah, because women know how to do better rabbit holes than men do. What do you mean? I think we think about things that aren't obvious, and then we start narrowing it down like that. Like, never mind. I'm not going to give y'all the, the tools of the trade. No, no, like... Now, when you do the reverse phone lookup... The what? Like, if I found a phone number and I didn't know what it was, and I did the reverse phone lookup... Okay. Where you could look up the phone number... And who it belongs to. Yeah, but and then if you, you also get addresses. But stuff. if you don't think that your person is cheating, but what you if, don't have a reason to do that. But what if a phone number comes up and I've never seen it and I decide to do that? If a phone number comes up and it, that means that you're looking for something. But that's also and my, there's a reason for you looking for something. But that's also my first mistake. You don't think they're cheating, but they are cheating. And why am I not aware? Like I'm aware. Like I'm aware enough in my mind. 
to be like, something don't feel right. Yeah, that, that, but that's usually when that happens, that's because things are not lining up the way they used to. I just hate when people are like, when you, when you go looking for something, you're going to find it. And it's like, no, I don't, I don't want to find it. Yeah, so don't look. But it shouldn't be there for me to find. Very true. Very true. And it shouldn't be there. And that's my point. It shouldn't be there. And if I'm ethically cheating, it's not there. Okay, baby. That's enough. It's not. Uh, that's that's fine. But that's enough. What you mean? Nah, that's all right. I'm done. I'm done with that. Why? Because it's just dumb. And we're not going to get nowhere. It's stupid. But okay. Just say the dynamic is, man, if you fuck, I ain't going to be mad. I don't want you to. But if you do it, I don't mind. That I, is an open relationship. That's what I'm saying. Is that cheating? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know dynamics. It's whatever you want to do. It's your life. Oh, they might even see all of these. Can't tell you how to live your life. I know you didn't, so don't worry about it now. Okay. I was putting them in there. Okay. You said we didn't have no topics, and I said, yes, we do. Yeah, they weren't great ones. Oh. No, the one you didn't even see those, but it's okay. So you like one of these. Let's go to things that have nothing to do with sex. I do like one of them. Click on that one with Lil Duval. So I uh, actually didn't look at all the answers. Uh, Lil Duval said, name a celebrity that, that looked like their sex is trash. And I thought that was hilarious. A celebrity that looks like their sex is trash? Mm -hmm. Angela Bassett. <gasps> well, you just feel like it's strong or something? Yeah, I feel like she going to be passionate, but in her eyes, I not in her body movements. I think, I know, I think, I, no. I can't see Angela Bassett throwing that ass You back. think that somebody that work out that much don't have good knees? No, I didn't say she didn't have the ability to do it. I don't think that she does it. I think she's been married she, for a very long time. No, I think that she feels like she's that that throwing it back would be beneath her. Uh, no, it's behind her. She's been married for a very long time. What the fuck that mean? And I think some that, people say married not because I, of sex. I think Courtney B. Vance in there get. I think come on, Courtney now. B. Vance look like he be man. You don't know what they be in there doing. I can't do this. I don't want to talk about Angela Bassett. <laughs> I didn't know that's where you was going with it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, and, like, that's a celebrity I think doesn't have good sex. Angela Bassett. I don't want... I, she ain't You're going to make this a clip, and I don't want this to be a clip because I want to meet her one day. Um, <laughs> somebody whose sex I think is trash. See if you could click on it to get the responses because I was very curious to hear about this. I don't think that... Um, I can't. Oh, damn. I don't think that... Hmm. You, there's no celebrity that you're like, nah, son. I think Bill not a size guy. I don't think he really be fucking like that. Not not like talking about. See, I now, think I he, think Bill Nye know all of the secrets. I don't know. I did just see. Um, I did just see them pictures he posted where he was fly as fuck. True. Um, he but was, it's not even that. He I was think given Zeddy. He's a scientist, so he knows literally the things to do to make your body react. Yeah, but I don't think that he's sensual. I think he knows exactly what to do, but there's no passion in it. That's mm. what I think. Okay. I think he know the buttons to push, but he don't, I don't think he moan because I think he too busy think about the note or something like that. <laughs> like, like I don't know, just something <laughs> science. I think he just, he's doing too much. Like, I think he just... I, like, I don't know. Like, him and Neil deGrasse Tyson, I don't think they'd be, like, fucking like that. Really? Not like, not like, oh, my God, I have to go fuck Neil deGrasse Tyson. I get it. Like, I don't think it's like that. I think, like, no, nah, it, it did what it needed to do. He mm -hmm. got all the things. But I don't think you, like, oh, my God, I can't wait. Like, what's he doing today? Okay. I, I, okay, I can see that. I, so he has the knowledge, but he don't know how to put it down. Yeah, he don't. He don't have the follow through. That's got what you. I think. Got I don't you. think he got the passion. That's like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at. It's like a pizza place. I'm trying to think. No, it's like Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme. What? Because Dunkin' Donuts, they know how to produce the donut, but when you taste it, ain't no passion in there. You know it ain't no passion. <laughs> you know it ain't no passion in that donut, but when you have a Krispy Kreme and it's hot and it's dripping and it melts in your mouth, like, they put so much love in that goddamn Yo, donut. Yo, you and this Krispy Kreme shit, y'all are... Because, okay, so th there's a Krispy Kreme out here. That's where they, the one they make the donuts, you can see inside of the factory mm -hmm. where they're making the donuts. They look passionless when they're making them No, donuts. I think they back there, they, no, I think they in there putting it, putting it down. Do you think you look like you put it down in the bag? No, I don't. 
I don't think so. I think I look like I, I be giggling. And that's accurate, huh? <laughs> 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 I think I look like, yeah. You said you didn't think, when you first met me, you didn't think I was fucking like that. Yeah, I didn't. So I, I, Not a bit. Not a bit. I thought you had a bunch of plants that you watered that night. Like, that Damn, was it. I can't even be a plant mom. Yeah. I'm not good enough yeah, to be a I plant mom. I didn't know that you couldn't. But at that time... I was like, oh, yeah, she picks her fro and, uh, <laughs> and waters plants at night. She don't be fucking. You really thought I was like this earthy. I really did. Yeah. I okay. really did. Crystals and yeah, everything. Man. Damn, I'm so but sorry I But I should have known something because we clicked, and I never clicked with earthy girls. Really? Never clicked with earthy chicks. Damn. Never. Ne they hate me. But what? why? Because you questioning their crystals and shit? No, you. I don't know. What do so, you do? You, you know what's so funny? Gosh. Oh, God. I don't like when you, when you do that, it's like you're scared to say whatever No, I'm not scared. I'm just trying to do it so that I'm not outing anybody. So I was dating this girl for a very short amount of time, right? Mm -hmm. And she was earthy. Mm -hmm. But she was funny as hell, too. Mm -hmm. So the the funniness attracted me. And, you know, we, we kind of got along. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I think honestly, if I'm being completely honest, do they listen or something? Why are you so? I don't think they listen. Oh, okay. I, don't, I mean, they follow, We still follow each other, but I don't think they listen. Okay. Um, I think until yesterday, I could not figure out why me and her never went further in our relationship. And then I realized what she named her child. They, her and her husband just had a child, mm -hmm. and they named the child some shit like Plant. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. It, it was, I'm not going to tell you the real name, but like Plant or Cosmic. No, they didn't. You know what I mean? And I seen that and I was like. I never would have agreed to that That's name. why. That's why we never went too far. She, we never went too far because she was the earthy chick that hates me. That hates you. That hates me. They cannot see anything being done with me, including friendships. Well, you should tell them that you're vegetarian now. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll just clear all that up. What you mean? There's something to love about I you. Eat ethically now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I eat ethically. I cheat ethically. I'm, I'm ethic as fuck. Oh, man. Hell yeah, though. Like, I, it, it just never works for me. It's okay. It never worked with me. Um, TikTok is planning to release a photo sharing app called TikTok Notes that will compete with Instagram, do you think people are going to jump on it? Yeah, TikTok has a lot of fucking people on it. I also think it's funny because I mean, Instagram came up with reels to battle TikTok, so mm -hmm. now TikTok is like, all right, bitch, watch this. And then... But it's a completely different app, though. It is, but it's a lot of people on TikTok. And there are a lot of people that are getting banned on Instagram and Facebook, and mm -hmm. we know that. Yeah. And TikTok is not doing that as much. So they might feel like if they got the, you know, you can rise fast on TikTok. And I think if they if they look at it like, you know, they're they're treating me better over here. But if it's a picture sharing app, do you really that feel to me that feels like you're going backwards in the app space. Yeah. Because even on Instagram, people don't really post photos a whole lot. I mean, you do. Yeah. But it's it's not the majority of what you're posting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it just feels know. like it's a step back and to get a whole brand new app and get people to migrate over. It's almost like Twitter, I'm not Twitter, uh, Instagram and their, uh, what's that thing called? Um, reels. No, not reels. Um, oh, threads. Threads, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. It's almost like threads where it's right there in the app, you're connected to it. It's very simple but if you're you, an Instagram user, threads. but you don't use that shit at all. Like yeah. it's a handful of people that still uses threads. Yeah, because you know everybody, because I mean? they still on Twitter. No matter how much shit we was talking about Twitter, they still over there. Yeah, man. It, I think I think it has to be more than just pictures. Yeah. If if they're doing something, if they're doing photo sharing, it has to be something that's completely different about their platform yeah. in order for people to move. Because it should have just been on one platform. Yeah. Yeah, they should have yeah. just done that. But I mean, you know what? You though? can post Not, pictures you, on TikTok. You can and it's, and you scroll right past them. Sometimes no, because sometimes people have it where you're telling a story, and I looked at one of those like today. Well, if you're oh, telling depends. a story, yeah. yeah, but I'm talking about a single picture. Yeah. You're going to scroll right past it. That, mm -hmm. that ain't your shit. Okay. Um, this, I thought, was the dumbest thing that happened this week. 
Uh, Kentucky woman quits her job after winning $90,000 off a scratch-off ticket. Yeah, that was dumb as shit. Because what are you talking about, ma'am? Unless you got a career that you just needed the funding for, and now you got the funding, and then you can continue to do with your venture, like something mm. like that. It could be that, but it I could also be that. like, this is enough money to last my whole lifetime. And I did dumb. not think about that. Yeah. Wow. She might have a passion. Maybe she crochets. And yeah. Say, you know, she does something. So, But still, you're throwing... Even if that's the case, though, you're throwing your money into the business. I know. So you got to have money to live. I know, but she might. Ha she might. There's no telling what she saved at her job. True. And then she got this. So she might be funding a passion. And if anybody knows anything about that, it is me. Okay. Okay. Like, I, I get that. So I'm with it. I'm with I didn't it. even think about that shit. So just now, because at first I was like, that's dumb. But. Okay. But I, if she don't, then that's dumb. I, I get. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. she don't have no talents, then that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. No, you can't do nothing? Yeah, I hope I hope she can. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get into what we are watching. So much. Uh, we watched WrestleMania 40. Yeah. We did. I felt very nostalgic. Like, we watched a game and wrestling, wrestling like, all in one day. Yeah. And I... It was like, what year is this? Like, I yeah. can't believe I've been this excited about all of it. I was screaming all day long. Yeah. Um, listen, I, I think we predicted, um, that Cody was going to win. Yes, we did say Cody we, Rose we said, was going to win. And I said, because maybe, maybe Roman's tired or like needs a break or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, cause they did bring up that he was still battling cancer, mm -hmm. but he said it's something that he's going to have to take for the rest of his life. He's taking oral chemo. Um, and maybe he just needed a break. I mean, he ran, he was raining for a long fucking time. Like, maybe he just needed a second. Was that your favorite match? Um, of the two nights? Because it was two nights. Those that didn't watch or don't really care about wrestling, it was a two night event. No, I liked the, the second night. I like when it was, uh, well, no, that match, yes. That I match. thought, okay. I was thinking about when him and The Rock went, and which I love to. Um, the Rock looked amazing. He looked fucking incredible, but he did look like he was in his 50s when I started looking at him. Remember the first, <laughs> when he tried to walk up on that rope? <laughs> that first time he tried to get on them ropes, I said, oh, no, you yeah. can't you can't stumble yeah. here. That's not where you stumble. And stumbled. you could tell that the the program worked, but he needed like an extra like two, three weeks yeah. because his legs looked a little funny. He looked incredible, but also like he... The way he paced himself, though, was beautiful to watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He paced himself like it was going to be a long night. Mm -hmm. Like he, I love that match, but I liked when The Undertaker came out and John right. Cena came out. Right. And I love that shit. When The Undertaker showed up, I, we were screaming. Yeah, yeah. We were screaming yeah. in here. I it was loved, exciting, man. I said that had to be the most expensive fucking WrestleMania. <laughs> you it was the biggest. Two movie stars. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then... All the spot they had sponsors on everything. They had sponsors on the bottle water. They had sponsors <laughs> on the microphones, on the mats, on the shoe. They had sponsors on everything that you saw. Yeah. On the walls, like each wall had a different fucking sponsor. Yeah. This thing was incredible. They knew how to. They know how to get that money, man. And um, Bailey, I was happy for Bailey. Yeah, I was super excited for Bailey. I was very. And happy I don't even for her. like follow her story. Like I, I, I watched the pre-show. Yeah. And I watched her story how she was with um. Uh, whatever the name of the, yeah, the ladies yeah, are, yeah. Um, and da damage control maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still getting control. back into it. Yeah. Um, but she was with them, and uh, they kicked her out basically. Yeah. And from there, you know, she was just fight. I just I loved her story. Yeah. And she seemed like she was genuinely excited to you know be on top of the company in the women's division. So that was that was pretty dope. Um, it was a lot of shit that I liked. I just. I like the, I can't even think of everything, but I like the whole time, like both nights, I was very impressed. Like I haven't watched wrestling in so long, but I used to watch it all the time. Mm -hmm. And just watching it to me was so, um, it was, it was amazing, but it was also uh, hilarious because I noticed how different announcers had different budgets because like all the announcers look like they just pulled out suits from their closets except for like Pat McAfee <laughs> and like you know niggas with money <laughs> cause I was like what are they wearing what did the dude look like he just threw a blazer on and he yeah. had, and had like nothing matched yeah. like you could tell who had money and who didn't um, but I also love Samantha Irvin I love her oh she I 
It's, Love her. It, it's uh, my my guy, not Bruce Buffer. Michael yeah. Buffer. Michael Buffer. Yeah. Samantha Irvin. Yeah. And Bruce Buffer. Somebody. Uh, or Irvine. Ir- Irvine. Ir- Irving. I think it's Irvine. Irvine. Is it okay. Irvine? Ir- it's either I forgot. Irvin or Whatever. Irvine, yeah. I love her. I love her. Yeah. She's incredible. Um, but she it, was crying. She, she was, was crying. crying while she was announcing Cody Rhodes. Yeah, but it was beautiful to yeah. see. Like I, I had a really good time. Like I could not believe I had that good of a time watching wrestling. Jay Cargill. Yeah. I mean, the girls won. Uh, Jay, her, Bianca Belair, and Naomi. Mm-hmm. Man, listen, that match when Jade came out, the pop Most in pe- the stadium. Yeah, but a lot of people. So that's the one that I missed. I was cooking. Right, right. Um, a lot of people said she wasn't good. She didn't deserve to be there yet. I don't believe that. I don't believe. I, well, like that she and Bianca are too. I mean, they, uh, comparing most people was comparing, of course, her and um Bianca. But like she, they said she just she's not ready yet. I'll say this. There is. I didn't, but y'all don't get us because we again we just not. We just getting back into it. Yeah, she has star quality. No matter what, obviously she has hella star quality, and I think sometimes you have to put that star out there Mm -hmm. and then work with them extra hard to get them prepared for the moment. I completely forgot that Bailey hurt herself, and the whole match I was like, "Oh my god, I feel so bad for her." Yeah, Christian was like, "Oh my gosh, her knee is really hurt." Every time it did something to her knee, I was like, "Y'all, can y'all just?" <laughs> and the ref kept asking her was she okay and she was like yeah I was like yo can y'all chill for real cause if her knee break on this fucking like TV while yeah. I'm watching I'm gonna lose my mind yeah but, man uh, we watched the NCAA Women's Championship we did watch it we did watch it between Iowa and South Carolina and South Carolina won in impressive fashion they were they're an incredible team man and incredible and Don Staley was making me about to cry I was about to cry I cried I think I did cry I cried on wrestling and I cried yeah. <laughs> at the game. Yeah. yeah. They are so good. They are, oh my God, it was such a good game. It was. It was such a good game. I enjoyed it. Um, oh, what is her name? The center for, uh, for South Carolina. Um, I forgot her name too. Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, um, I forgot her name too. Anyway, she is oh, a monster. That. I forgot her name. A monster. She is amazing. And and she had this confidence in her face the entire game. Like, oh, we about to win this. And I'm bringing it home for y'all, man. Like, she was amazing. But the whole team is amazing. Shout out to South Carolina. Um, and also shout out to uh, UConn for the, for the men's game. Didn't watch that. I forgot what we were watching. The, I think we're watching The Voice. Mm-hmm. I know that's bad. I know that's bad. The national championships it's are only fine. watching The Voice. It. It's but all right. It's all right. Yeah. Um, but hold on. And I do, I still want to shout out Caitlin Clark because a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, most They definitely. was like, she didn't win. So why do they keep bringing up? And everybody's making it about race. But the girl literally brought majority of y'all yeah. to even watch the game. Yeah. She's the reason that majority Breaking of people and all that. were watching those games. And yeah. I think Don even mentioned something about that. Coach, she did. Coach Staley did. But that was, like, y'all keep making it about, like, what the media is doing. Like, mm-hmm. the media is the ones that are... But, like, at the end of the day, girl, she didn't ask for all that shit. She don't... What's, she good. She's just playing her game. She's just playing her game. She gives props to, she gives props to everybody else. Mm-hmm. Like, she's been... Bigging up everybody else. She bigged up their team. She bigged up their coaching. She bigged up LSU. She bigged up, like, she's not doing anything. And everybody else is making it a bigger deal than what it is. At the end of the day, she's breaking phenomenal fucking records. And the reason that all these people are paying attention is because of Caitlin Clark. So the acknowledgement she gets is very well deserved. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Caitlin Clark. I can't wait to see her in WNBA and see what type of effect she has on viewership. Which I, WNBA. And it's almost, and people are going to say this is a wild analogy, but it makes sense. The way that Beyonce is coming into country music and putting a spotlight on black country artists yeah. is what Caitlin Clark was doing for the game of women's basketball. No, that's fact. And even going into the WNBA, there are players that are phenomenal in the WNBA, but there will be more viewers because Caitlin Clark is there. Yeah, that's they just want to see what she's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. No, I'm with that. I'm with that. Yeah. And we watched The Voice. I really don't want to talk about it too much because we're still in 
the uh, man. I'm watching American Idol too, and man, that shit is trash compared hates, to the voice. He hates American. Oh my Idol. gosh, the sound isn't as good. The wardrobe isn't as good. But I have and the singers like. aren't as good. I have I have people I like. Listen, I'm just, if I'm, I whatever. No, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead and keep continue to hate. No, no, I'm not hate. It's it's. I'm not hating. It's just the product isn't as good. It's not as good and it's not the same, but they do have a couple of sprinkles of like really phenomenal singers in there. So I'm phenomenal? just gonna No, they do. They do. They have really good nah, singers. They got a couple of phenomenal singers. But in they there. are people I haven't seen anyone on American Idol that would be able to last on the voice. You haven't stopped and like watched an episode. I'm not watching a full episode because the shit is boring. So again, you and haven't fuck seen Lionel everybody. Richie. You, you gotta stop saying that. I'm just saying like, why would I watch a show with him on it? What's wrong with you? For real. Did he, what did he do? What did he do? What did he do to you? Did he do something to you? He didn't do anything to me personally. Okay. No. But he did write an inferior version of Hello. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> did I watch anything else? Oh, we watched Neil Brennan stand up. Yes. Um, crazy good. Crazy good. Um, and it was crazy good. If you're not familiar with Neil, Neil Brennan, he is the co-creator of the Chappelle Show. Mm -hmm. um, he, the last couple of specials that he did, uh, he did this one called Blocks. Um, just talking about uh, basically all. Well, his the, first one's three mics. Well, I'm going back. I got it. Oh, okay. Um, is Blocks, which is basically. Um, talking about the different things that led you to, you know, whatever point. Yeah. He also has a podcast by the same name. It's kind of built off the same thing. And then, the, so it was a completely different kind of stand up special. Then the one before that was three mics where he had three different mics and they all had three different personalities mm -hmm. on each mic on different aspects of his different life. Different joke structures and everything. And he even, and, and this one, it was like a straight up stand up. And he even got to the point where he was like, you know, if you've watched my previous stand-ups, then you know that, you know, um, they're all geared about around depression and da da da. But like right now, I'm like feeling really good. Yeah, yeah. And but it's even a with take. this, I love his stand-ups because he's super creative. Yeah. Even with a straight stand-up special that he's done, where yeah. there's no you know, uh, extracurricular. He still put extracurricular in it. That shit was hilarious. And it was great. That shit like, was it was a really good stand-up special. And I don't think we talk about Neil Brennan enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. he is brilliant with the pen. Yeah. You know, like... It was really good. I I I love Neil. I love Neil. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I know. I know you do. Uh, I felt like I watched something else, but maybe I didn't. So that's it. Um, the boys season four is coming back June 13th yes. to prime video. If you yes. haven't watched the boys, it's like a super adult, uh, superhero, uh, show on prime video. Um, it's really good. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out before June 13th. And I guarantee if you like anything, related to superheroes you will love this um also quantum leap was canceled the new quantum leap was canceled i i shed a tear when you told me i know i told you and i um, was very sad about it I yeah didn't tell you yeah i was oh man quantum leap was my shit oh my gosh i used to love that show well and, and i and i hate that i'm saying used to because it's not coming back yeah, I know. You that was your like your favorite. Thing. Yeah. Um also I wanted to do this cuz we didn't do it last week, but um you brought up the boys and it made me think about Gen V. Um rest in peace to Chance Perdomo. Um one of the leads on Gen V cuz mm -hmm. we had talked about watching Gen V before. The black dude. Um yeah, so and he passed in a I think a motorcycle accident and he was one of the main characters. Yeah. He was Yeah. St like Ooh, so incredibly fucking sad. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Young dude, man. Yeah. Young dude. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to get to, but we can do that on Patreon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, we haven't had a listener question in a while. If y'all going through some shit or you got a question for us. Don't ask me nothing. No, no, it's fine. If you're going through something or you want to ask us a personal question, send us an email and we will answer it right here. We haven't also been asking for them. We've just been forgetting. You're so. right. You're right. Well, I'm asking now. Yeah, I'm asking now. Right. Okay. You know, some mm -hmm. listener questions. I love listener questions. I it's great. 
is is always I fun. I don't like giving advice yeah, at all. So. Yeah, well, you don't give advice. I don't give advice. I get it. I, I get it. I don't give advice. Um, but yeah, so send us at and then we pod at gmail.com. Once again, and then we pod at gmail.com. If you have a question for us or you have a question about your own life, and it doesn't matter what the topic is, we talk about everything up here. So, yeah. you know, we'll talk about anything, man. Um <laughs> Because <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. Uh, any any last things you want to? Nah, man. Y'all get y'all tickets. Please get your tickets to yes, the shows. Yes. Yes. These shows are going to be amazing. Yeah. This summer we are outside. We super you outside. Me? We've been chilling out. Um, this April, so we're just like getting our bearings. But yeah, this summer ready. is gonna be nonstop. Um, Kicking and, it off in Charlotte. Yeah, and we want to see y'all. We really, really want to see y'all get the meet and greet tickets. Get the Whatever. I don't even know if there's meet and greet in Charlotte. It should be. I don't know. But we're gonna do we 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 outside. We so we be meeting y'all. Get so. y'all <laughs> yeah, we we be meeting all y'all. So get your tickets. Um and I don't know, spread the word about the podcast, follow the TikTok. Yes, yes. I feel so old saying follow the TikTok. Just follow the shit. Like yeah, man. what the fuck? Subscribe to the TikTok. As a matter of fact, shout out to all those people that are listening or watching. Because of TikTok, mm -hmm. we appreciate y'all. Yeah. Welcome. This is us. Um, <laughs> last yeah. week was last week was a great episode. Not saying this episode wasn't good, but last week, yeah. check that out. That that was we was off the hinge. Somebody said that we need to record at night more. Often. You said off the hinge. Cheers. Come on, baby. You too old. We gotta hinges. no. You we gotta wrap this shit up because you gotta for real. We gotta let people still think that you're a little bit cool. You just be saying <laughs> shit. I did say um, checking for you earlier. Did. You so. did. But I don't my, think that's bad, though. My bad. Whatever. Don't worry uh, about it. Anyway, with that being said, and then we had sex and so should you. Thanks for listening. Bye.